Hey there, internet friends. Trevor Starkey here with my E3 Day 3 Roundup. Here's everything I played at E3 today, Thursday. Well, it's now Friday as I'm recording this, but I haven't gone to sleep yet, so Thursday. Blah, blah, blah. I started out with a demo of Dino Frontier. It's a PlayStation VR game and probably the best PlayStation VR game experience I've had. Uh, it is, if you are familiar with Black and White or even the Populous games that kind of came before that, it is kind of a god simulator game where you are managing the resources and a settlement, uh, and you kind of uh, you're you're in VR. You've got the move controllers, and you use them to maybe grab the world and like pull yourself into it to zoom in, uh, or push yourself away to zoom out. You can kind of twist the world, and you can use it to grab um, the little settler guys that you've got and like drop them on a tree, and they will start cutting down the tree. Um, you can build um, a lumber yard, and you can have them turn the wood from the tree into wooden planks that you can use to build other buildings or upgrade your buildings. You can level up your lumber yard, and then you get a watering can, and you, as like the god, can grab the watering can and like pour it and water the uh, the trees around you. So and and regrow the trees. That kind of game is right in my wheelhouse. And the fact that instead of building like prehistoric and Stone Age civilizations, you are building a civilization that effectively is in the Wild West, but with dinosaurs. Uh, it was a ton of fun. I had like a saloon and I had like a dino wrangling camp that I could kind of level up um, and, and get my settlers on to like riding the dino. So when bandits came, the dinosaur was attacking the bandits and it was a ton of fun. I had a great time with it. I'm looking very much forward to this, and it'll definitely be something I, I invest the time to getting my PSVR like back in uh, in the throes of. After that, I found myself going back to Matterfall and Everybody's Golf, a couple games that I've already talked about in these these videos, but um, the, the lines for them were, they had a few stations in the PlayStation booth, and the lines were never too long, so uh, it always felt like nice to get back into it. Matterfall is feeling a little bit more comfortable as I play it more and more. I certainly got further in the in the second level today. Um, still died, but um, part of it I think is because the level is really long. Like I was probably playing it for a good ten minutes and didn't want to keep the people behind me waiting. So uh, rather than like go back from the checkpoint, I was just like, okay, well I died. I'm gonna bounce. Um, controls still feel a little weird, but that like I am getting better and more used to them. But there was still like a platforming section that probably took me five or six attempts to actually get it to go where I wanted it to go. And then everybody's golf. I've never played the series before, but I've been really getting kind of hooked on it here. They had a uh, six hole round of golf. It was the demo, uh, and I was getting some birdies today and ended up kind of winning the tournament out of the like the computer players and stuff. So uh, yeah, I felt really good about that, and I definitely am going to pick it up when it comes out in the end of August, I believe. Then lastly, PlayStation, in their app, uh, you could sign up for demos, or you could sign up for theater time, where you could go to uh, their, their little kind of booth and go into a room and watch a demo, an extended demo of one of the big showcase games that they had that may or may not have been playable on the floor. Like Detroit Become Human had one, but you could also get one of the few stations up and play through Detroit Become Human. Um, but I got to see kind of behind closed door demos of Days Gone and Spider-Man. Um, both of them were kind of extended looks or alternate looks at what we saw in the conference on Monday. Days Gone, they really played, they, they dubbed it kind of the alternate path demo, uh, where you were in a different weather environment, so in this one it was snowing, and so we saw how kind of the environment changes in the game and how that affects, um, you know, the motorcycle riding around. It's a little more slippery. Um, and then the demo, the person running the demo also used kind of different techniques and different strategies for taking out the bandit camps that he kind of came across throughout the game. The game looks and seems like it plays probably very much like Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, which the combat was one of my favorite things about that. I don't know if I'm really interested in diving into another game that feels that similar, though, even if it is motor gang instead of like robot monsters. But we'll see. Hasn't completely won me over yet, but I imagine in the throes of 2018, whenever it's coming out, 
um, I'll probably be looking for something to do, and it'll probably come out, and I'll say, yeah, all right, I'll play that too. And then Spider-Man was, as I said, an extended demo from the one we saw on Monday, and this one had a few more combat sequences thrown into it, uh, kind of interspersed, you're saving more of Wilson Fisk's men, so there was more kind of hand-to-hand -hand of the Arkham-style combat than we saw in the, the initial demo, which uh, kind of breaks up the QTE quick time events ness that I think a lot of people kind of walked away from that demo feeling. Um, the combat, again, very Arkham-like, but what I think will set it apart is just how much the environment is usable as a weapon. You see a little bit of it in the conference demo, where Peter kind of grabs um, like a big old eye beam that like he whips around and knocks a few guys to the ground. Um, in this, I, like I would see, you could push the L1 button and grab a barrel and whip it into an enemy, or um, a pallet over here or something, and so you could, there was, in every battle arena, there was a ton of things that you could use in the environment to kind of also deal damage to people. Um, so I think that's what will set it apart a little bit from just kind of the standard Arkham superhero punching and kicking that we've seen. Ton of fun, I'm really looking forward to that one. I hope it does come out in 2018. So that was my Thursday at E3. I'll probably still be doing a couple more videos to kind of give some kind of final roundup thoughts uh, of E3 while I'm still here in Los Angeles for a couple more days. Let me know what you thought of E3 in the comments below. As always, I've been your host, Trevor Starkey. You can follow me at SnarkyStarkey on Twitter, or you can find more of my E3 impressions or other random videos here on the YouTube channel. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, or over at trevortrove.com. And as always, until next time, from here at the Trove, treasure your friends.